Hello you guys, so welcome back. This is part two of the Traveler's Caravan. This is gonna be the things that I bought at the caravan. So as usual, I picked up the grid notebooks. I always get these notebooks. You'll probably always see them. I also picked up a passport size grid, a passport size blue notebook. And then I got two more grid. But then I decided to also get some craft paper. I'll probably start using this craft paper now. I want, I wanted, I was gonna originally do um, Skyrim in here, but then I thought I could probably just commonplace Skyrim and Oblivion in here or just Elder Scrolls in general. I could just commonplace it in one book and then maybe save this one for the fall, but I will be buying more craft paper ones for the fall and for Christmas time. And depending upon how it goes, I might completely switch over to um, the craft paper. What I'm looking for is um, graph paper, but it's craft and it's like a traveler's notebook size. That is something that I do want to try to find. I need to see if maybe Moat Term has it because the Moat Term ones are the same exact dimensions as these. The paper's a little bit thicker and the cover on them is a bit thicker. Um, these are, they're nice, but the paper's thin. So if you really like thin paper and smooth paper, I'd say stick with this. But yeah, I might be doing both just to see which paper works the best. So these are the craft paper inserts and let's open one up. So I've never used the craft paper inserts, but I assume that yeah, it's craft paper inside. So yeah, this one's kind of kind of thin. It's kind of thin. It's really thin to be honest, but I'm still excited for it and about it. I'm still excited for it. Like I said, I know that the ones from Moat Term are a lot thicker. Um, so I'll probably be using those as well. If the paper store just doesn't have any of these in stock, cause I can get the ones from Moat Term in about a day or two. And I also picked up you guys a regular size blue traveler's notebook. So now I just need to get the black and I will have a full set. I will be unboxing these in a different video. I'm trying to do my best to not make these videos like super long. Um, and then from the Boulder Bookstore, I picked up this traveler's notebook but it's like spiral bound, you know? And it's A5 slim. So I've used A5, it usually doesn't work out, but I always feel the need to buy A5. So I thought, well, maybe this could be something good. And I decided maybe this will be um, good for letter writing. Um, I'm doing kind of, well, one of my notebooks, one of my trailer's notebooks was going to be like a, sibling estrangement notebook you probably can hear my dog in the background playing um and it was gonna be kind of like i guess i don't know things that were sibling sibling estrangement i wasn't really sure what i was gonna do with it but when i saw this in the store i thought oh i could use this and like just write letters in it um it's a bit bigger i think than yeah it's a hundred sheets and it's two-sided, so they put 100 sheets, 200, because it's two-sided. So you get 100 sheets, and it's still supposed to be, like, white MD paper. They also had, like, folder, a folder one where every, every page was, like, a slip folder. And I guess, I'm not sure what it was for. I guess it was, like, you could just take it and put receipts in it every like whenever you need it to like hold receipts like a receipt holder basically but it was spiral bound and it just had like a pocket here and you could put paper in it um I didn't have a use for that so because most places that I go they're just like do you want it emailed do you want it printed both um I can't really think of anywhere where it's like I need to get a receipt you know or whatever but in most cases I think it's pretty much like, 
in the rare case in the rare case that I need to get a receipt they're gonna just put it in the bag like a lot of like luxury stores they just slip it in your bag they're not really they don't normally ever ask me do you want a receipt they just put it in the bag they just say bag in the receipt uh receipt in the bag and they just put it in there um so yeah like I said my orchids are like almost they bloomed really quickly I don't even know if you could see it in the camera but they bloomed really quickly and now they're at a point where they're just like they're going to die because they're actually pretty old by now <laughs> but um what else Okay, so like I said, they had this and then they had a craft one. No, they had a watercolor one. They had a, a watercolor one and like this was blue. And to be honest, as much as I think I can paint and I'm a painter, I'm not a painter. I feel like I am, but like I'm not, I'm really bad at it. And I have all these books on watercolor painting and I try and I literally sit down and I dedicate myself to it and it's just, it's bad. So I didn't get it, but they, the Traveler's Company came out with like a water palette, not a water palette, a paint palette. And I think I'm gonna buy it. I'm tempted to buy it when I go back on Tuesday. Um, if you didn't see part one, I stamped my bags and I stamped like the cloth bags that come. I washed it and it got ruined. They all got ruined when I washed them. So I'm gonna go back and try. The only ones that actually survived being washed were the ones in green and blue. Those ones actually came, they were fine, but the ones in black ink just didn't survive. The purple ink, it survived. But they, so I'm gonna go back and restamp these. And also I stamped the insides of these covers. So you can watch that in part one and yeah, comment down below and let me know, like, have you ever stamped the bags or the covers? Would you stamp them? Yes or no? And oh, almost forgot. I got some inks. So I'm just like knocking these flowers completely all over the place. Okay. I got two Ferris Press inks because I wanted to make sure that first of all, I was going to use them, but like the packaging on this, you guys, the packaging is just so freaking pretty. And I have, so my fountain pen is a fine nib. They recommend that you use a medium nib. So I might have to buy a new pen. I will say this, if I was to paint with this, you would really, you actually do see like the color gradient um, in it. You really do see it, like you really do. So I'll open this up and this one is called Cloak and Forest. Oh, is it stuck? This one is called Cloak and Forest. It actually looks a bit blue. Um. This is like a bad example. Um, it kind of looks a bit blue, but it's like a bluish green and you do get hints of like purple and red in it, like how it shows you on the box. You really do get that. I am going to color swatch these on a different video. I'm trying to do my best to keep my videos like short. Um, let's see here. And then this one is called workshop wishes so i saw someone else showing this one and they were saying it's kind of like pinocchio vibes and i was sold let me just take it off on the bottom but i definitely am going to probably collect these um to some degree but like look at that that is gorgeous i love that i love this like a lot when you shake it, I probably shouldn't be shaking it, but it's basically brown ink and it's beautiful. This is probably like, to be honest, my most favorite purchase so far. Like, oh, I can't open it. Oh, well, I'll open it off camera. But yeah, so these were the items I picked up 
at the Traveler's Caravan and I got these inks from my paper store. Um, but I got that Spiral A5 notebook from, I got it from the Boulder Bookstore. And luckily I was able to get all three stickers because of the purchases that I made. And they really didn't send them that many stickers. Um, I went in later towards like, kind of like towards like the end of the day, like an hour, I think maybe before like closing or whatever. And cause I actually had them hold like the, um, the inserts, but they had a bunch of blue and black covers. And I think they had like a random like brown cover or two, but they pretty much always have brown, blue and black at my paper store, which is why I was trying to collect those like later because there's really no point in like rushing it when they are not going to run out of them. But um, yes, so the next covers to collect will be the black ones. And then I will focus probably more on like limited edition ones then. Um, and maybe buying one more camel in regular size. Either way, you guys, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if you have been to the Traveler's Caravan. If you want to go, why or why not? What have been like your best purchases so far this year's from Traveler's Company? And what are you hoping to buy maybe in 2024? Thank you. Oh, I mean, <laughs> for 2024. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, you guys. Bye-bye.